for mature audiences. Hello, online people, and welcome to The, the Cave! Cave! Woo! All no. right, coming to you, uh, not quite live, from my pad. Welcome. Uh, Thank you, Mark this Nelson, for having for us. Brother. You're very welcome. We are Just looking, take it home with you. We are looking very intelligent and um, brainy this episode because we have a lot of books, paintings, They're all planted. and culture around this yes, area. Yes, it's just looking. All yeah. Right. yeah. Now, for those of you uh, not watching us but actually listening to us on an audio podcast, uh, our names are... My name's Stephen Koo. I'm Mark Nelson. Revilson No Filter Fernandez. And Erwin Yusuf. That's Hi. right. Now, Erwin, would you like to take it away with uh, what our topic is for the day and uh, how we Steven start? Steven actually I'll, would. I'll take it away. Ooh. Okay. Uh, well, we've had um, so many commandments and codes throughout the ages, generations. Yes. Moses had the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. The Mayans had the, those... Who gave a really messed up calendar, yeah. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Romans had stuff. The Roman so numerals. anyway, what do we have? They anyway, have and, you and are not have helping what yourself. we call the bro codes. <laughs> right. And we've yes. heard this, this line, you know, thrown different directions. It actually... Per, I think Broco started with How I Met Your Mother. but That's okay. true. Yeah. Or become, became more popular. Right? Became yes. more popular. Yes. But actually, Barney before Stinson. that, we've already yes. had that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Barney Stinson has really popularized the, the whole concept of the Bro Code. And now everyone has their own versions of Bro Codes. And uh, which ones are true, which ones are yeah. funny, which ones are a bit of both, and which are yeah. just bullshit. Yeah. So before we get into all of that, um, we'll... Well, first, I think some one of a, one of you are supposed to tell us what you've learned this week. And I think it has happens anyone to learned anything? It took them a while to come yeah. up with this a while ago. Yeah, well, I learned how to make uh, gluten-free bread, but that's, uh, that's a little boring. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, moving on. Yeah, moving yeah. on. So, Stephen, what did you learn this week? Uh, I learned that... Um, so, let's talk about gluten-free bread, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please tell us. <laughs> and crickets. And crickets. Okay, okay. so good extra. Yeah, all right. So, well, we've got, I, I, I found some actually some two pieces of news that I thought were pretty cool. Um... One guy in Nepal got bitten by a venomous snake, um, okay. and he bit the snake back and killed the snake. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. And it's not yeah. Chuck Norris. It's wow. He's a Nepalese awesome. guy. Pretty okay. cool. Um, second one, and I think this one we can discuss more, a guy in Tokyo, uh, not a transgender, uh, someone who believed that he was actually asexual. Mm -hmm. um, I fi actually find it hard to believe that there are people who think they're asexual. Um, he cut his genitals off uh, surgically. Um, and then went through the boards and medical boards in, in Japan and whatnot to be able to certify that the organs were um, free of any types of disease, anything, froze everything, kept it for two months, and then uh, had six people come over and eat his genitals, uh, which he cooked and seasoned himself and everything, yeah. with a chef present and everything. And these people paid $320 to be part of the dinner, knowing that he was serving genitals. Wow. So let's talk about that gluten free <laughs> bread <laughs> again. Um, well, you know, if you saute some uh, some fresh nuts on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How, how okay. messed up is that? That's that's crazy. That's yeah, insane. So well, I'm I'm actually impressed because he was able to feed six people with that. <laughs> no, and, and well, he was. No, but <laughs> I don't think Japanese. Japanese. They eat everything. Yeah, and he was yeah, Japanese. He's Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's big in Japan. Yeah. yeah. So I brought that up because for me, number one, bro code, you never eat another man's penis. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So. Oh. Is that even top ten? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about well, a woman's penis. Okay. No, but I, no, no, however, some guys eat other men's. No, they don't. Oh, they're not bros. They're sisters. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> let's establish exactly what we're talking about today and what are the bro codes, Steven? Since okay, you we're gonna we're gonna talk about how um, bro codes um, exist, or I mean, do they exist in Asian cultures, in the Philippines in particular, or um, is is there any difference between like, bro codes here and you know, in other in other countries, and also um, we're gonna have a guest later, and we're gonna ask her if there are you know equivalent girl codes that they that they actually apply. Oh, and she's the perfect guest, perfect oh, yeah. guest for for female female codes, and not to mention she's from the states, so she has her own. She's from New York specifically, and she had, they have codes in yeah. general there. <laughs> and then her being from what, here, like area codes. And yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, what one of the most one of one of the most common bro codes that that's often uh, thrown around is. Uh, you know, can you go for a bro's uh, ex-girlfriend? Let's, let's, let's start with that one. That is the most yeah. popular and the yeah. most famous one. Off the bat, no. Because if, you, if he's your homeboy, you're, there's going to be events where you're all together. He's obviously going to bring his girlfriend to Thanksgiving or another wedding or what mm -hmm. have you. Then things get awkward and uncomfortable, and that's not the way bros should conduct themselves. Well, hi right? Hypothetically, without naming any names, have you three ever dated the same girl? 
No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, no I with think, Mark. I, I yes, think I, I think we know which two. Have been <laughs> <laughs> but I had a first. I, I, no, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, go. go, go, go. <laughs> Just use a use a letter to, for her first name. Uh, okay, no, no need no, for no, letters. No names. Wait. <laughs> Come on. Who is first? No, no. I, I, I think, I think. If um, it was in the '80s, it's okay. No, I think. <laughs> I think one. I think it's okay for you to date a bro's ex girlfriend. Yeah. Um, given certain rules, like you know. Ask if for permission ask straight for, up. Ask yes. for your that's, bro, that's bro's awesome. permission. Yeah. Um, probably give like at least three to five years apart. Three to five years? Are you trying to wow. <laughs> I, he, he looks like he's asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> you only waited so three wait, weeks, it was, motherfucker. <laughs> it was the both of you or the both of you? I love how Steven's the common two. denim no, 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 no. denominator. <laughs> yeah, I had nothing to do with it. Erwin <laughs> no, went for... Um, <laughs> <what's your bread? laughs> <Ooh. laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah. What was yeah. the topic? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> the topic is basically <laughs> when is it okay for you to date right. uh, Revilson's ex girlfriend? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. So I think I think a time frame is important. Time frame is important. Uh, uh, I'll take ask permission, <laughs> and because because sometimes you can't help it if you you know if you fall in love with a certain girl, and you know um, especially if the society is very small. You have cities like Cebu in particular, where everybody is somebody's cousin or ex girlfriend or ex boyfriend. So you don't really have a choice. That's not really true. So you don't eat your, you don't uh, <laughs> date your bros ex boyfriends. Is that no, no, it? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I, no. being, I'm sorry. To yeah, go ahead. Uh, being a uh, a romanticist, I will say, hey, go with your heart. If you if she's my ex, or uh, you know, I'm, such if, crap. If, no, really, really, really. I used to work for Hallmark. Okay. Really. I used to write for Hallmark, and um, just kidding. Duh. Uh, and and if you follow your heart, and and if if if. You know, love. Okay, I'm. I'm actually not to talk out. about love, and okay. I'm tapping out. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your you are not follow qualified to talk about love. I'm yeah. sorry, but, but follow your heart. But the question is, doesn't cool. it ever like freak you out if you know? Okay, Ro was here. Ro was naked. Ro was. Well, hopefully, it's not. Tattooed doesn't that on go through your anymore. mind? You know, I. I think it's a chauvinistic way to think. Like you know, if if some other guy has touched your girl, then you know you can't. It, it's no, like, it's not even some other guy. It's some guy you know and you yeah. hang out with. You know, That's what, a difference. I, I just, okay. yeah. my, my opinion on this is I think it's okay as long as, number one, uh, you don't no longer have feelings. You no longer have feelings for the girl. I mean, romantic feelings. And you ask your bro, right? Uh, or you are, if it's my ex-girlfriend, if my bro asks me, and if he's a decent guy and he's legitimately uh, interested in this girl, not just for a fling, but he actually likes her, you know, wants to be serious, and he's a decent guy, then I'll say, okay, all right. You know, she's she's a great girl. Didn't work out with us, but yeah, go ahead. Well, as long as you take care. So of it's her. only okay if the guy, it, your friend, is the one that broke up with her. No, uh, it's, he say it's it's okay as long as the guy has um has decent, yeah, has, decent, has, has um, good intentions. Yeah, good intentions. I, has this ever happened to you, Erwin? No, because no, it no, seems no. like your life is so perfect. Yeah, no, it is, it is pretty pristine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's never happened to me. But if I if if let's say a girl breaks up with me and then my friend asks if he can go out with her, that wouldn't be okay with me. Oh, because you say no. Like if she breaks my heart, like what the fuck? Like it's what if you broke? Mm, what painful. if what if you broke up with her? If I broke up with her, yeah, yeah. that's different. It's different. Why? I'm the one that you know separated myself from the. Relationship. So you're saying that any girl that's ever broken up with you, you still have a thing for them, even like five years later? No, no. But I'm talking about this. These are bros, right? Yeah. Isn't so this a bit? Your bro it's isn't supposed to do something. You know, go out with a girl basically that gave you pain for I don't know how many years. Wouldn't that's what I mean. Be, he's supposed to have your back. So yeah. like, yeah. it's like saying, okay, yeah. hate. Like, if you're getting to fight in the club, you hate this guy. Your friend doesn't even know the guy, but he he will yeah. hate him too. He needs yeah. to. Yeah. Your yeah. enemy is my you back enemy. him up. Correct. Yeah. yeah. But also, I mean, by virtue of, um, you know, all you guys are all stellar guys, and I'm only gonna date stellar women. And if you're gonna date my ex, that I totally get that because you know, I because mean, you only date stellar positive. women. Exactly, and yeah. so do you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I respect that. She, I, the reason I dated her because she was awesome, and it didn't you know, work out. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Yeah. You're a stellar guy. She's just you know. Because in a country, I think like everyone feels really bad about this. Everyone yeah. really does. No, yeah. Each yeah. It's like such yeah. a small. So you're agreeing yeah. now? You can date somebody's ex? I know. I say no. Still no. I'm a, zero, I'm a no like stand. Zero, really? zero tolerance. Okay. Because Revilson used to go out with Anne. Yeah. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so scared. All right. Okay, let's move on. What's another uh, bro code, Sam? Well, uh, there's another bro code which, which says uh, bros before hoes. All right. Define um, what a hoe is first. Okay. 
Bros before girls. <laughs> <laughs> in, 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 in more... Bros uh, before loose no, they guardian <laughs> utensils. <laughs> there. You gotta be uh, PC. In a way, so basically, if the girl doesn't like your friends, is that okay or not okay? Okay, if you have a girlfriend... <laughs> yeah. Wilson, if you have a girlfriend mm-hmm. who you're... Okay, we're going into your uncharted friends, territory your here. your friends don't, don't like. Your, your barcada, they don't like her. And she doesn't like them also. Yeah. What wow. are you gonna do? What well, are you gonna do? First of all, I wouldn't. We wouldn't be. She wouldn't be my girlfriend because there's obviously a honeymoon stage where I would be hanging out with my friends with her. And if I could already tell my homeboys aren't into her, then it's like you know, for me, you guys, my homeboys are my life, you know, and mm-hmm. and they, they'll always be there if we break up eventually. So they have to like each other, you know, off the okay. bat. So, so there. basically, you're saying that if if uh, they don't get along, then she's probably not going to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she'll you never become your girlfriend, basically. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. She has to like you. You have to go shopping with her, Irwan, when I'm busy. <laughs> okay, essentially what you're saying is friends are forever, love is temporary. <laughs> yes, because no. the internet exists. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, is my mic on? No, anyway. Um... Yeah, well, that's my point on it. No, that's just your experience. No, I'm, it, was, it's act- it was actually a question. Um, <laughs> we forgot, actually. The word of the day. Is, oh, right. Yes. <laughs> since since you guys word of the day. such a hard time talking about this because I feel there's a lot of tension. Um, yes. The word of the day is Sisyphean, okay. Okay, okay. which basically means timeless and endless. Yeah. So you're saying that, uh, yeah. that uh, bros are Sisyphean. I think Steven yeah. Koo's banter is <laughs> Sisyphean. <laughs> they're really not clicking tonight. Uh, okay, other other wow. really popular bro code. Um, mm. When your boy gets into a fight or something, you automatically back him up no matter who started the fight. What do you guys think? I think, okay, I think if your bro is, uh, is drunk and being an asshole and starts a fight, it is your responsibility as a bro to pull him off. Yeah. And, and put him in his place. I That's think right. if your bro started the fight, as a bro, you should hold back the enemy at whatever cost. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't, yeah, but would, that, that would actually get the fight yeah. going, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but at least it'll make sure that your bro doesn't get beaten up. True. No, and no. you're actually trying to stop a fight. No, if you hold your friend back because he's being an asshole. He'll get beaten up. No, he's not because you're holding him back. But he'll still get beaten up. Because <laughs> somebody's holding him. You, you got to hold down oh, I'm not the saying guy hold him down so the other guy can beat him up. <laughs> okay, while that, that they... you an accessory. While <laughs> they have the same conversation over and over again, we're going to take a small break because... It's just a fan com- <laughs> yeah, conversation. It's a fan. <laughs> Damn it. That was mine. <laughs> oh, nice. And then when we come back, uh, we have a wonderful guest that comes on, so please stay on for a bit. How are we in media? <laughs> Aren't you guys supposed to be pros? <laughs>